hello everyone so in this video we're going to implement a mediator um, publisher here a pub sub pattern using mediator when we receive a message in our um, signal R uh, I'm not sure what to call this uh, event handler here okay so to do that we're going to install oh no not that chip we're going to install mediator and I have to yeah where is it mediator okay where's my mediator give me my mediator okay Oh, is it already installed? Did I install this already? Oh yeah, we have it installed already. So, because we have it installed already, we're going to check if we have registered this already, and I believe not. We haven't installed it, so we have to install, uh, install our mediator. So, so to install our mediator just need this add mediator here and then we're going to I'm not sure what is the right um, thing to do here but we need to have something added um, like an initial add to the mediator so what I have before is I will have to create an initial handler here we're going to create a handler uh, handler we're going to add a folder a handler here and then we're going to add a say like a notifi notification handler handler okay so that that notification handler will implement something like um, up 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 hold on hmm. I notification notification and then it will return int maybe I forget. Um, hold on. Let me search for my codigos here. Uh, yeah, that's I request handler. Yeah, we can try this one first. Uh, there's a. I think. Well, let's let's just. Um, search for mediator. Mediator notification handler. So there, there, there it goes. So we have this. We need to have this. Okay. Um, okay. So we need to have this i notification notification handler, and then we're going to have the the notification not notification. Okay, so this notification will be in our. Um, we're going to add a model here. We're going to add view models here. Oh no, we already have view models here. Okay, we're going to add our view model here. Notification. No, this is not the. 
uh, we're just going to add it here. Noti notification. So that notification is uh, going to implement the I notification. And then this I notification is a handler. I is a mediator interface. And then we're going to say here message. Get set. So this notification will be this notification here. And then we're going to implement that handler. Okay, so there we go. So, and then we're going to say notification that message. This notification is this notification, and we have this message. So, so we're go. Let's go to our hosted service. So, okay. So instead of doing the console log here we're going to remove that and then we're going to add here our notification handler is it? yeah notification handler uh, no, no, that should be a a te that app that handler that notification handler and then get the reflection get the assembly and then so that is already install uh, added we're then going to inject private read only uh, uh, mediator Okay, mediator. Okay, so once that is added, we're going to uh, implement it here. Mediator, mediator, okay. And then here is mediator. Publish the new notification. Notification. And it knows just what uh, equals message all right so we don't have the console log here but instead we move the console lag here uh, if we want to update this and then this is in handler you going to put that there and if we're going to start our app <coughs> come on come on so we have our app running and then we're going to call our test, our API test message handler is good. See, it still prints. Our, what we printed is handler is good, and then it added this. This is a handler. This is in handler. To make it clearer, we're going to add escape escape there. Oh. <laughs> Do this again. Did it already start? Started? No, I think it didn't start it yet. 
let's uh, restart, close this, um, rebuild. <coughs> Start that. Okay, so we have this one here. Then here will be API test. Uh, we need to add a message here. What? What? M. Should be MSG. Alright, cool. Alright, that's it guys. So we have our our signal are here with a back uh, with, with a high high hosted service and then we're going to use mediator so that we can do our code here for things like if we can add here app db context then context here then you're going to do some context operation here like context items that add from new item your core item here Await, await context that save changes, and then here will be the name is the name of the message that MSG, and then the created is U UTC. No, 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 no. Daytime that now. Hmm. Oh, no, no, no. You need to have a uh, add async here. Okay. And if we're going to check our <coughs> database. Just see you. Um, I believe this is Blazor X local, and our database here is this one BLX item. So we have here, okay, so we're going to add a, um, a, a record um, on that table. So, we're going to launch our application and it will call this one and then we're going to have it here. So if we're going to say here, the, here's our console on top. Then we're going to say, oh no, no it triggered. What? Uh, what? Cannot resolve I generic blah 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 from root provider because it requires scope scope. Okay. So this is new to me. So this one here. And um, mediator here. Damn. Did we do? What? Uh, you need 
need to add a scope. You need to have something like this. Okay, problem. <coughs> problem, problem solve. Alright, cool, 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 cool. <coughs> okay. Come on. So our app is running. And we have this console here. Okay, and we have our database here. This one. So we're going to say API test MSG World War 3. And it cannot resolve the collection because root provider because it requires scope service. What? Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, okay, so that will be our our issue for the next video. How, how to solve this error. And I'm going to have some rest now because it's already 3, almost 3, 3 p.m. Okay, so um, committing this shit. All right then push yep so I'm not sure what happened here but <coughs> I'll let you guys know in the next video stay tuned